Hey, this is Steve Tadios with TatCore.com Building and Remodeling. Um, we're actually in my house today, and years ago when we bought this house, we put in a new uh, well pump um, tank and a, a pressure switch. This switch goes on and off based on the pressure from the well, and here's a gauge that tells us what the pressure is. Um, this line here is the incoming feed from the house and that's what goes out to the pump outside. We're going to take a walk out there and take a look at that. Um, this little guy here got all clogged up. It wasn't working. Uh, this guy here has these little contacts that engage when the pump's going to operate. Well, I tried to fix those things and um, thought maybe it was the air pressure in that that was the problem, but it's really come down to that we really think that it's a pump problem. But a couple things I wanted to say. This guy here on this air tank or air filler, that little guy, the pressure should be a couple psi below the pressure that the pump turns on. Um, then the pump goes on and then eventually cuts off, say cuts off at 50 PSI and then drops down to 30 PSI. Oh, our helper's here. Hey Brewski, how you doing little buddy? Um, so if this was going on at 30 PSI, you'd set this at 28 PSI. If this lowers over the years, then the pump's going to come on all the time. This provides uh, a constant pressure on the system when the pump is not operating. Otherwise, if the pump pressure went off like it did with us in the shower, you have no water pressure. So if over the years this drops off, then the pump keeps running and fails. And I think that that's probably what happened to us. So let's go outside and we'll take a quick look-see at what we need to do there. Hello, this is Steve Tadios again with Tadcore.com. I just talked to you a little bit about uh, the pump problems inside the house. We come outside and this is what you know the pumps sort of look like. And a pumpkin and Brewski the dog. Um, I'm a little intimidated by trying to do this myself. I've got some pretty good experience. I'm a licensed engineer but it's sort of scary. Looked on YouTube, didn't find too much of help. So I hope that this is going to help out. Um, but I really don't know if I can do it. Um, first of all, this comes off. I had turned off the power inside. I know this so far. Then you look in there and it's like, oh my gosh, what do you do? Um, you pull this out and the wires, power we've shut off. You look down a little bit further and a little further down is the connection that comes in from the house. I connected a flashlight to that and dropped that down. I don't know if that will work. You can see that. You can sort of see something. But if you get a flashlight, oh, there it goes. There's what's, I think it's called a shoe fitting that is down about four feet. Once, then we can get that out and that's what connects to the inside of the um, house. This little guy here threads down and I think it's a three-quarter inch threading. That's going to connect to the shoe fitting and hopefully we'll be able to pull it out. Let's. Okay, I'm pretty sure that the threads are not crossing and it's threading into the shoe fitting. Not too tight. By the way, I just got these guys from the store, three quarter inch fitting and uh, pipe threads. And I got a reducer of three quarter inch to one inch, which is what fits into mine down there. So now hopefully I'm going to be able to lift this baby up and pop that out. I'll let you know or you'll see. Uh oh. Hey, Brewski. What do you say, buddy? Um, I just hammered this and I got it loose. I wanted you all to see it, but I couldn't, oh boy. So now I'm trying to pull this up. Well, the good news is we got it up, but 
I only have one hand on the pump and one hand on the camera so I think I'm gonna have to let go of the camera but the good news is we were able to get it out it wasn't that hard regular hammer banged up on it and it came loose hey this is Steve Tadios again with TACCOR.com along with Brewski Allison's dog and ours Bev takes care of them here I've gotten the shoe out that o-ring connects to the house and then that goes down to the well pump of which I'm holding with the other hand so I sort of got to let go of the camera and pull this thing out take care have a great day we'll show you the next stage you know what I'm really not very prepared on this after I started lifting this out I have to keep going um, and not let the edge hit the side of the pipe so when you do it have like a roller or something on that to do it Brewski, come help me. Hey, this is Steve Tadios again with TACCOR.com. I've been showing you uh, the pump and getting it out. It was a little longer than what I thought, but it's not that long. Um, but here it is. Here's the pump. They also have these little spacers here, too, that keep it away from the wall. Here's the electrical connection. And here's the uh, the pump that we have. It's a Myers, and I've checked with the local plumbing place, and they do have one in stock. So anyhow, the process of getting this out it hasn't been as bad as I thought. You plug this pipe down into this shoe molding, or sh not shoe molding. Um, shoe fitting that connects back to the house and that's what goes down to the pump in the well so when you pull it up this way that uh, releases it and that's what you need the t-bar for so anyhow it sort of worked I'm not sure what to do next actually I need a pump I didn't get one yet but they have one in stock close by See you in a little bit. Okay, here's the wire coming up from the pump and the shrink fit. And then those are the wires that go all the way up around and eventually come over to the wellhead, go down through the house and back, well, back to the house. So we're going to disconnect those, use this new kit. Wrap it back on, take off the connector there, the stainless steel connector. Actually, I'm going to use this new one here, connect that to the check valve on the new pump. We've got a couple brackets too, I think, somewhere that will hold that on. All right. Steve Tadius again on our replacing the home well pump. Um, here's the new pump. This is a check valve that came with the pump. The other one didn't have it. Stainless adapter, hose clamps, then the line from the pump that then interfaces to the line that eventually goes to the house. So we just finished shrink, rip, uh, shrink wrapping or doing that. So now we just need to put I guess a couple of wrap it up with some electric tape and we'll be ready to start putting it down there. Anyhow, have a great day. Okay, so here we go. And putting the well back down into the pump. Excuse me, the pump back down into the well. About 100 feet. It's hitting the connection for the hose to the house. So need to do something about that. There she goes. Oh, you got to turn them things to clear it. Yeah. Huh? But it's also getting caught on something. I think I have to be careful that the wire doesn't get caught on the um, horseshoe or shoe connector. All right. All right. We probably have... 
We're getting used to those little spacers hitting the shoe connection. Oh, we got it. No, nope, got stuck again. This is how much we have left. Water's coming out. think about what we're gonna do once we get to this shoe hold on can you hold that down it's gonna keep pulling so this is a little baby that we need to get that to go into the slot so it ramps I mean wedges in there and then this o-ring seals okay so all right, scrape that scoop all right. Okay, so we're going to lower the light down and we need to find the spot to get the shoe in. I got the rope. Alright, you want to lower it? I'm not going to lower it, you lower it. No, I meant the light, because I can't see. Huh, can't find it. Must be on the other side. No, I'm trying not to. Ah, there it is. Where is it? Right there. I'm going to try to zoom in down there to see. Yeah, you can sort of see where that our target is. Zoom back out. And then we'll leave you for a minute while we drop that. Okay, so I think we're done. So now this baby unthreads from the shoe connection. That connects the hose down to the pump to the hose that goes into the house. And you need one of these little gadgets to do that. So this comes out. And there's a little gadget. So that threaded connection connected down in the shoe about, you know, four or five feet. So we shove these things back in there, put the cap on, and we're done. Have a great day.